But well, here's an here's an here's an idea. So as you're moving from what is to what should be, you're in this little frame of reference, this little game, this little Piagetian game. Sometimes you get what you want or predict. That's on the left hand side. That makes you happy, and it validates your frame. So if the frame keeps working across different circumstances, you get a reward from that. The reward produces a dopaminergic kick. That makes you feel good, but the dopamine also enhances the strength of the circuitry that underlies that particular representation. That's what reinforcement is. It's different than reward. Reward is what you feel, let's say, roughly speaking. Reinforcement is the effect of the dopamine bathing the neurological tissues to make it stronger and grow. And so if the neurological tissue underlies a sequence of actions that produces a desired outcome, there's a biochemical kick that strengthens the, the nervous structures that were activated just before the good thing happens. And so that's how something you know that's valuable gets instantiated. And if it fails, instead you get punished, pain, anxiety, and that, that starts to uh, extinguish that circuitry. And we don't know how that works exactly. We don't know exactly if those circuits then start to die because they can degenerate across time, or if what happens is you build other circuits that inhibit them. So it's like you've got this knowledge structure, it's built into you, and once it's there, there's not really much getting rid of it, but you can build another one that tells it to shut up. And that's sort of what happens when you're addicted to drugs. So cocaine bathes the tissue that was active just before you took the cocaine with dopamine, and so that gets stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger, and so you're basically building a cocaine-seeking monster in your head, and that's all it wants and it has rationalizations, and it has emotions, and it has motivations, and it's alive. But it wants one thing, and the problem is, once you build that thing, especially if you nail it a couple of hundred times with a powerful dopaminergic agonist like cocaine, that thing is one vicious monster, and it's alive, and it's in there, and you can't get it to go away. The only thing you can do is build another structure to shut it up. But the problem is, is that as soon as you get stressed, it interferes with that new structure, and the old thing comes popping back up. Not good. I wouldn't recommend it. And the faster acting those dopaminergic agonists are, cocaine is a good example, but so is meth, the faster they hit you, which is often why people inject them instead of snorting them, say, the faster that transformation from steady state to dopaminergic bath, the bigger the kick is. And so, you know, so speed of introduction of the substance matters, which is why you drink shots instead of drinking, say, wine or beer because alcohol has, you know, very similar very similar effects. So